Hello everyone, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology, and today we're going to reset the uh, Kindle Fire. I have uh, some uh, custom ROM on here and a Go Launcher. Go to Settings, uh, down here in Settings. Uh, oops. Settings. And move up to the Device. And move down to Reset Factory, uh, to Factory Defaults. Are you about to reset to factory defaults, which remove all your personal information, and we want to erase everything, and let's see what happens. By the way, I did make up make a backup of this before I started, so uh, we should be able to go back. If you haven't ever made a backup, you can use the uh, Team Win Recovery Project program, the recovery program, to back up all your data and all your information, the ROM and everything and it does a great job and uh, I saved that just in case it gets wiped off of the off of the internal SD card I saved it to my computer pulled it up and made a copy off of the computer so one way or the other I should be able to get back okay Kindle Fire is booting up now let's see where we go If this puts us back to stock, then uh, that'll be pretty fine. Okay, reset to factory defaults in progress. There we go. Kindle fires booting again. And on RayWaldo.com, what I try to do is to interpret all these really difficult things to understand. Try some things that you might not be a, uh, be willing to, to chance. <laughs> you may not be willing to risk your device when I feel a little more confident with it. Uh, so I try these things and do them live so you can see what happens and see how long it takes. Some people rush their videos and speed through the, the video, but uh, I leave it in, in real time. It makes it longer, but you can actually check how long the time is to do something, uh, how long it actually takes, so that you don't get anxious. That's one of the problems is some of this stuff takes a long time, much longer than you think, and if you've never done it before, you may get really anxious and push a wrong button or do something prematurely and really mess up. The best thing is just let it go and let it do its thing until it gets through. And uh, if it takes five minutes, if it takes ten minutes, usually it doesn't take ten minutes. But if it does, let it go. And whatever time it takes, let it go. Just let it finish until it's... I'm still... If the only time you can... You really might want to stop is if it starts to looping, doing the same things over and over. You know, now here we go. We're coming up. Okay. And we are back at <laughs> at stock. Uh, this is the Kindle Fire. We're back at stock again. Complete system uh, later. Okay, that's what we want to do right now. We want to complete system later. Continue setup later. Okay, yes. And let's see. And there we go. Yeah, we're there. Okay, we're at the original old root. Uh, I mean, the original old uh, Kindle Fire. And we'll go to the next. This is this is the first thing I saw when I think we will. <laughs> there we go. And next. And it's just telling us how to use the Kindle Fire and we close that. Uh, this is all the stuff that you get when you first buy the device. Okay, so we are back at stock. Okay, that's what we wanted to do is go back to stock. Uh, check RayWaldo.com and uh, you'll see what you can do with the stock nook now. Okay, thanks. See you next time. Bye.